Yo, what's up guys? It's Chow. Back again with another workout. And today's workout is legs. And as you can see, I'm not doing squats. No, in fact, I am <laughs> I am thrusting the bar. Yep. I'm getting back into conventional style deadlifts, so that's gonna take the place of squats for my uh, heavy compound lift at the beginning. And I'm liking it. I, I did this for a while back, like a year or two ago. Um, yeah, you guessed it, because squats mess me up somehow. So yeah, I'm shaking off the rust on the deadlifts and yeah, it, it just felt great. Everything was moving smoothly. And here I am just kind of warming up slowly to a top set, plate by plate, getting into the groove, you know. Uh, gone are the days when I was in high school and I would just throw on like the working set cold, you know, come out of class, take a shit, and then go into the gym and like slam on a couple plates and do my, my heavy set, yeah. Gone are those days, but <clears throat> Yeah, this workout ended up being shorter than I had wanted, but it's because I had to hurry my ass to work, um, which, you know, is a bummer, but that's life. I, I could have woken up earlier so that I could have squeezed in more work, but yeah, um, that's what I wanted to talk about today, you know, balancing your physique goals, the gym, bodybuilding, powerlifting, whatever it may be, with, you know, your other responsibilities in life. And, yeah, you know, I strongly believe you should have other things in life other than the gym uh, to be a well-rounded person, right? But, <clears throat> yeah, you know, balancing the gym with other hobbies and, you know, work or school it can be a very challenging juggling game. But really, I believe it boils down to two important things, right? And that's time management. And if you attend any, um, you know, university or college, you probably hear that over and over again, you know, time management is key and things of that nature. And it's true, man, you can accept it, you know? Uh, you can't just, idly live your life and hope for the best you know if, if you want to be successful you gotta you gotta plan out your day you gotta chart out your day and seize life by the hour by the minute you know it, it it does have to be that way if you want to get the most out of life and then the second thing would be you know what are your priorities in life okay uh you know, I've had many people, um, especially older people, be like, oh, yeah, you know, when I was your age, I, I was also really into the gym and I was drinking protein and all this stuff. And, um, you know, that very well may have been true, but I don't think you were passionate about it like I was, you know, I, that would be a thought that would always cross my mind whenever I'd hear this. Um, and I think that simply boils down to, you know, was the gym ever really a priority? Or was it just like a hobby, a pastime for you? And that's why you, you know, you don't really have anything to show for the supposed time that you spent at the gym. You know, like, uh, I'll have like a lot of people, older people in my life be like, oh, just wait until you get a job. Oh, just wait until, you know, you have kids or things like this right and yeah you know I don't have kids right now so I don't know how that will affect my gymming routine but uh, what I will say is you know you, you just got to be consistent and prioritize it you know make it a must center your day around it if you if you have to you know and I don't mean that in like a you know the gym is everything type of way but 
if you have work, you know, at a certain time, make sure that you allot enough time for the gym if you really care about the gym, right? I mean, if you, if you really want it, you'll make it happen. You'll make time for it, okay? It's not, I don't have time. It's, you know, I'm going to make the time because you have 24 hours in the day. Let's say eight hours are spent sleeping, ideally, right? Uh, the gym, it's, an, it's, it's a whole ordeal. Yeah, I'll admit that. You know, the, the whole ritual and the process of going to the gym, coming back, you know, showering, all that. It's a process that can take up to three hours. But, you know, do you really need that much time? I think to build a, a solid physique, you don't need that much time, okay? You just need intensity and you, you need to be very, in, you know, you, you need to have intent with your training. Let's say two hours, right? Let's say the, the whole gym shebang takes two hours. Block out two hours of each of your day for the gym if you actually care for it. And if you don't care for it, you'll make every excuse in the world not to go, right? You'll be like, oh, you know, but I got this essay due tonight. Oh, you know, uh, it's my brother's birthday tomorrow or I don't know. Some, you'll find some excuse to not dedicate two hours to, you know, your health, your wellness, your physical capacity, right? You, you're just going to completely skip out on that because you don't care enough. And it might be hard to hear, but it's truth, right? Be real with yourself. If you really wanted it, you would do anything to have it. Whether that's wake up a couple hours earlier or, you know, skip out on other leisurely things like watching Netflix after work or school, right? Do you really need to do that? Or could you sacrifice that for the gym because you really care about the gym, right? I mean, if you're making excuses and all this, and I'm sorry that I sound like I'm reprimanding uh, you if you, you know, are one that struggles with balancing the gym and, you know, your other responsibilities, but if you constantly find yourself making excuses, like, oh, I got this, I got that, then you gotta be real with yourself, man. Like, do you actually want it? Do you actually want that physique of greatness? Do you actually want to be strong? Or do you just kinda want it, you know? It's like, yeah, that'd be nice. I'll go to the gym once or twice. You know, sometimes I'll miss it. That's all right. If that's your mindset, you're not gonna achieve the physique that you want and you know that you admire in others because it takes a, a certain level of dedication consistency and sacrifice right so if you really want it you'll make time for it but yeah you know here i am squeezing out some deadlifts uh, these are pause pause uh deadlifts after you know a couple of heavy sets now moving on to heavy Bulgarians, I think this is 105 pound dumbbells in each hand. Uh, yeah, these are, these are killer, but so good. Um, but yeah, you know, I had to squeeze out a really short workout, but I made it intense and I made it hurt. And, you know, I'm sore as fuck today. Um, like I only did two exercises in this workout, but it felt like... I did an entire freaking drawn out workout, right? And sometimes that's all you're gonna get from a workout if your day is busy. But the important thing is that you made time to go there, right? Even if you go there for half an hour to do some cardio or some abs or an hour, right? It's the consistent habits, right? The consistent action of doing it day in and day out that will make it a habit and will demonstrate that you are dedicated to it. And, you know, that day in, day out grind will show something, right? 
But it's only when you start making excuses and you're not consistent that, you know, you're just going to start wondering, like, oh, why can't I achieve this physique? When I was working as a bedside nurse at a hospital, even after, like, a 12 to 14-hour shift, I still would go and train, you know, <laughs> as if I wasn't completely and utterly mentally, physically exhausted. I still went. Uh, probably wasn't the smartest thing to do because <laughs> I would end up like tweaking my wrists and stuff like that. But yeah, you know, that's just how much I prioritize the gym. And I, you know, I encourage you guys to, you know, take a deep look into what you prioritize in life. And if it isn't the gym, you, you got to be honest with yourself. Like, you know, you're not going to achieve a certain caliber of physique if it's not your priority. And that's fine. Like, you don't need to have that. It just depends on what you want in life. You can be perfectly fit, um, have a great, healthy physique, and not have to dedicate or sacrifice that much. But, but like I said, that all boils down to what you want from life. Whatever you want, you can get it. You just have to put the work and the time in.